All right, welcome back everybody. So today we are going to be talking about mechanical systems and what we're going to focus on is the basic elements and what they are. So there are three basic elements that pretty much make up the uh, majority of your mechanical systems. Uh, first element is the inertial elements. And what the inertia elements consist of is any type of mass. So we learn from physics that mass has and contains a certain amount of inertia and that's where we get that inertia element from. The second one is going to be your spring elements. And of course that's pretty self-explanatory and that's going to be springs. And we're going to talk about these a little more in depth once we get through uh, what the three elements are. And your third one is going to be a dampening element. And these are made up by dampeners. So first of all, let's, let's write out, let's put a mechanical system up here. So let's say we have a mass that hangs from a ceiling and we have it connected so we have a spring and then we have a dampener so this is going to be a basic uh, mechanical system and that includes all three of the basic elements so we have the mass a spring and a dampener and now we can put these in different way so we can put the spring and the dampener in series or we can even put the spring connected to the mass then goes through dampener that is connected to another fixed surface. Now there's many different ways that you can develop and form these mechanical systems and you're not limited to one spring or one dampener and it could be made up of even some of the most complex systems where you have 15 springs, 20 dampeners or even more and you might not even have all of them. You could just have just a spring and a dampener. You might not even have a mass to it. So we can take the mass out of any of these systems and I would still be a mechanical system. So let's look at springs. So a spring in a mechanical system is denoted as K. So K is the spring constant. And from some of our physics work, we know that a force of a spring is equal to its negative constant times X. So the force of the spring is dependent on how long or how much we stretch it. So if this is X, as we stretch this spring out, we're going to have more of a force. And as it goes back to its neutral state, it's going to be a force of zero. So if we have an X starting position of zero, that's going to put a zero here, so a force is going to be zero. And when we actually write our differential equations or mathematical models for these systems, we're going to actually write it as this when we do our sum of forces. So for dampeners, 
our constant is B. And you may see this from, so this is the common form of the differential equation. So this is the common form of a differential equation. As you can see, we have our three main elements, our mass, our dampener, and our spring. And what this is, is the second derivative of x is acceleration. The first derivative is velocity. And of course we have x as a position. So it is the sum of forces is equal to mass times acceleration. And is also written as mx double dot equals bx dot plus kx. And then once we start writing more and more of these mathematical models for these different systems, you're going to be utilizing uh, a lot of this for this type of system. What does a dampener do? Let's think of a dampener. It slows things down. It absorbs energy. So as we increase the constant B, we're going to be applying more of a dampening to the system. And we can see here that we're affecting velocity. So we're slowing its velocity down by dampening it. So we can think of the b x dot or velocity because the dampener is directly related to how it affects velocity and then going back to the springs the distance of x how much it stretches is directly related to its force so there you go that is pretty much the basic elements that make up a mechanical system